if you reduce the weight of the ammunition by 20 30 percent and i'm talking you got to add in a lightweight link in there also the analyst went through how many uh, transport flights that the military generally has over the year and the whole thing and they figured that they would save over a billion dollars by switching out the ammo to lightweight ammo it's like 1.16 billion i mean it's incredible well, it's a no-brainer. They're still saving all that transport cost. Right, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, but you know. But as I mentioned before, when you're talking with the military, their testing is stringent because you're not going to just say, "Hey, it's lightweight, great. Let, let's buy a whole bunch of this." I mean, they want to make sure that the guys who are using this are are safe and it does what it says. So, you know, it's something that takes years. It's like the FDA approving a new drug. It's, it's because you know once they decide that, all right, this is great. Now they need to test. Let's see how it rips through a belt-fed machine gun with the links. You know, let's test a few other things, you know. And I mean, we've done our own tests because like an attorney who puts a witness on the stand, you better know the answers before you have someone asking the questions. So we do all our own tests internally before we send this stuff off to the military to make sure it's perfect. Those belt-fed weapons just chew through that. No jams, no nothing. I mean, it was great.